the king's chamber over Europe. Could it be? Okay, so we've got Stonehenge in the northwest there and Giza, the Great Pyramid in the southeast. If those are the corners, okay. So a YouTube video I did on some of the relationships between those two, I got this comment and it said, uh, 2236.6 miles between Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid. Unbelievable. 22360.06. That's exactly, that's exactly. So what? The King's Chamber. That's the diagonal of the King's Chamber. It's a double square. So since it's 10 by 20, you get 22.3606. But if it was 1,000 and 2,000, you'd get 22360. Incredible. So from Stonehenge to the Great Pyramid, Okay, we've got this diagonal. What about the other two? Where are those corners? Well, if you take the 2236 miles as a radius centered on Stonehenge, okay, and then you make this uh, circle, 2236, make that radius, okay, that area is 15 million and change. It's 5 million pi square miles. Five million pi square miles are these ancients telling us something here. Okay, so if the 2236 represents the diagonal of the king's chamber, where is it defined on earth? Because there's the diagonal, okay? The sides would be 1,000 and 2,000 miles mimicking the king's chamber. Okay, so if you draw a 1,000 foot uh, radius circle around Stonehenge and a 1,000 foot circle, th excuse me, a 1,000 mile around, around the Great Pyramid and then draw a 2,000 mile radius circle around Stonehenge and a 2,000 mile radius around uh, the, uh, the, the Great Pyramid, uh, that's how you'd find these two points, okay? So there's, they converge right there, the 2,000 from the Great Pyramid and the 1,000 mile radius and the other one would be over there. Okay, so those are the two points that would be defined as the other corners of the King's Chamber. Okay, so it would look like this. There's the King's Chamber that's defined by Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid. I, I'm not making this up. Okay, that's, that's the King's Chamber, the size of the King's Chamber. There's 2,000 miles that way, exactly 1,000 miles that way, and 2,236 uh, two, two, miles that way. Okay, 2,236. Okay. So what are these points, okay? They don't seem to be critical points like Stonehenge, Stonehenge and the Great Pyramid. There's not monuments there, but th let's look at them. Okay, so what do you see here? This is this, you know, the southeast corner of Spain. What stands out? Look, there's one place that's all white. Everything else is different colors. Look at this yourself on Google Earth Pro or Google Earth, okay? So uh, let's, let's go from a distance. Where do you see white spots anywhere in Africa, France, Spain, Look at that. It stands out. That's where the crossing point is. And when you do a close-up, this is it. This is what's there. Okay, I'll leave that for you to interpret that. So that's the one, that's the, that's the southwest corner of the Great Pyramid, of the, uh, of the King's Chamber. Okay, what about the northeast? Okay, this is a close-up of where it comes. Okay, it's right there. It's in the Black Sea. It's in water. Oh, that doesn't seem to be meaningful, except, oh, look, you've got the Bosphorus. The water that goes to Istanbul, through Istanbul, and ultimately goes to the Dardanelles and takes you to the Mediterranean. This is a door. Oh, and what's the northeast part of the King's Chamber? It's the door. The water leads to the Bosphorus, the Dardanelles, and the Mediterranean. That's how all the eastern powers got to the west. Okay. So now that we've got this, look at this. What's in this, this King's Chamber? Oh, the Roman Empire is right in the center. Oh, Alexander the Great, the Hellenistic, the Grecian Empire. Oh, the Ottoman Empire. Oh, the Spanish Empire did only rule the world for a century or two. A Napoleon from France. You've got the British Empire because London is in the northwest part of this. London, the center of the British Empire. And you've got the Holy Roman Empire. Germany, you know, uh, part of Spain, you know, Italy, the whole thing. And so basically what you have here is the, the King's Chamber defines the center of world power for thousands of years, what today we call Western civilization. Incredible. The ancients sorting this out ahead of time like a prophecy. Oh, but, but what? We all know this is falling. We all know that Western civilization is on its way down. It's gone. But where? Where? Back to the king's chamber. How's that? Well, Robert Grant has found that there's etchings all over that suggest the zodiac. And so he's shown where all the constellations of the zodiac are in the king's chamber. Okay, and in the center is Orion. See those yellow dots in the right picture there? Orion, Orion. 
the hero's journey. So where has the king's chamber moved? Because Western civilization, it's moved from there. We're falling. It's moved to you if you take the hero's journey.